we've been asleep literally since four o'clock yesterday. The rain has not stopped even for five minutes and it somehow made its way into the tent. Pool of condensated water at Thomas's feet. Sleeping bags wet, sleeping mats wet, clothes are wet, everything's wet. But we're well rested at least. <laughs> And you know, I've been in some pretty uncomfortable situations in my life. This one's pretty high up there. <laughs> Let me eat these gummies to keep me happy. <laughs> so, what do people tell you about Big Sur? Oh, you have to go in Big Sur. It's so pretty. Oh my God, the cliffs, the ocean. Oh, it's so romantic. <laughs> yep. Big Sur. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's actually kind of hard to even exaggerate how crappy the situation is right now. <laughs> Look at this, man. This this had a rain cover on it. It did nothing. This is inside the tent. It looks like it wasn't even covered. This is just nuts, dude. All right, there's a camera. What are we gonna do with the camera? I don't know, man. We've definitely talked about this before, but this is definitely the point where you have to literally just give up all notion of being comfortable or dry and clean. Oh yeah. And oh, just totally. give it up. Look at us primary colors. <laughs> <laughs> I think the point now, the goal now is just to get back to the car with the least amount of damage to the essential equipment. The yeah. essential equipment. As Thomas said though, you can see the ocean. Oh, the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> More water. <laughs> Let's go to Death Valley, the driest place in the world. <laughs> Watch, it'll be raining at Death Valley somehow. <laughs> I took my down jacket inside the tent because I was like, oh, it's down. I want to keep it dry. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> look at it sloshing around in there. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be no shortage of YouTube comments telling us what we should have done. <laughs> At this point, let them, let them... Yeah, no, I mean, if they got suggestions, I'll take them <laughs> at this point. Rio has a sick sense of humor. <laughs> more at the new simulators in Valencia instead of spending all your time with that boy. So we finally made it back to Thomas's apartment and everything was soaked, so we set everything out. Like so. It's kind of a toss up whether it's actually gonna dry before we leave tomorrow, but. The tents for sure, yeah. We'll see. It's a chilly morning in LA. Me and Thomas are gonna go get coffee, we're the only ones awake. Granted, it's not even seven o'clock yet. I've got some reverse jet lag, I guess. No, it's regular jet lag, right? Yeah. So the wind blew away Thomas's tent and I just found it right there. Rebel leader, we found him. 
I forgot to put this in yesterday's vlog, but I lost my sunglasses at Big Sur. On the way back, I actually found them. Whoa, Whoa Greedo <laughs> is incredible. We're sitting here. I look down my sunglasses. Right between your feet. That is, what, what does this mean, guys? What does this mean? <laughs> I guess we made the right choice. <laughs> I guess that means we made the right choice. Miami style. Yeah. Where? Revelator, we found them. Where did you find it? <laughs> it was outside in front of the garage. Like the outside garage on the street. What? Yeah, it somehow blew out there. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. And we actually had people show up. It's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody who came out to the meetup. I totally forgot to film it, so there's only that one shot. But hopefully, if you were wanting to make a cameo in the vlog, you made it in. I thought you were just like in a weird headspace and didn't want to film it for some No, I just literally, it's funny because I was talking to people about the vlog and I wasn't vlogging it. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah, well, that was good. Thank you guys for coming, it was fun. So there's just a few more things that Thomas has to pack up, like these arrows, and then we will be heading on the road trip proper. Yeah, well. He has to move his whole life across the country. I think overall I'm doing all right. And we're just in it for fun, so. Yeah. Moving on everything. No problem. We've officially started the road trip. We're headed to lunch right now before we actually get started proper. Headed to Lone Pine tonight, which, have you been to Lone Pine? It's Brian's first time. It's gonna be a good time. It's pretty crazy though, like right now, we have everything in our current possession and we're gonna be going across the entire country. And the only way to get back is just by doing it. There's nobody who's gonna come pick us up no airplane we're gonna fly. It's just pedal to the metal. No, rubber beats the road. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Red Rock State Park, is that right? Yeah, it's Red Rock Canyon State Park. A Red Rock which, is, which is not the Las Vegas one, which we're, what we're also going to. This is the California State Park. Huh. Red Rock Canyon State Park. One of my favorite levels in F-Zero is Red Canyon. It's a great level. Dude, this sun is deceptively intense. Like when my sunglasses is on, I can't tell how intense it is, but holy cow. Yeah, dude, what a harsh landscape. How did anybody ever survive out of this? There's a lot of water, I guess. This is Elevation. This is the store that we stopped at last time. This is the outlet area. But man, it feels good to be back. Nobody's climbing it yet because there's too much snow. But it's so cool to be back here and just be like, yo, we climbed that. We actually climbed it. Yo, this place is great, dude. We're going to be having some time this one. good. <laughs> <laughs> I am a rat. You are ambitious yet honest. I'm just shot of Prone to spin freely. The only one that's not right for me is to seldom make lasting friendships. No, it's, 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 it's a rooster. Pioneer in spirit. Where do you use this one? Devoted to work and quest after knowledge. You are selfish and eccentric. I don't know about that. I'm, I'm definitely selfish. Dude, the third line is always wrong. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm doing okay. Thank you. Easy for you, guys. Okay. Thank you. Yo, I don't know how we did it. We just like demolished all of that food. Appetizer, four dishes, ice cream, fortune cookies. I think we found a good uh, campsite here. Got a nice little firing. Boom, bang, bing. Got Mount Whitney in the distance. Somewhere over there.
Yeah, it's crazy. I just don't even... How do forest fires happen if it's that difficult to start a fire? Um, I know you can't see anything on the video right now. And I'll try to show some of it, but cameras really can't do justice to being able to see this many stars with the naked eye all at once. It's like take the greatest planetarium visit you ever did as a kid, multiply it by like 10, and that's what this is. So all these stars kind of kind of puts it in perspective. That <laughs> doesn't matter that we didn't get a fire. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, lots of lots of things put things in perspective, and uh, some of them are fermented wheats <laughs> and grains. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter that somebody sold us damp wood. <laughs> Andrew's like, we're gonna kill him. <laughs> he, like six it's in like, the morning, he drives back. <laughs> it doesn't matter that somebody sold us damn one. <laughs>